Hi, good day. So all the personal readings have been completed. Um, I am just going to do an energy check and then pull what we need to focus on, what everybody needs to focus on, and that's it. All right, so what is the energy for Divine Femme, current energy? Healing, manifesting a reunion, um, and all the personal readings have been completed, and if you're interested in a personal reading, my information is in the description box below, okay? Also, if you follow me on TikTok, I do Who's Thinking of You every day, or a three-minute video every day of something around there, whatever I'm intuitively guided to do. This is a reunion with Divine Masculine in a commitment and a stable foundation there is some stress about someone juggling two people one of which they're married to or you're married to or both of you but you're letting your intuition lead you and you're moving forward this could have taken a very long time what is divine masculine's current energy Knight of Wands, feeling very passionate, happy. But, wow, yeah. So feeling very passionate and happy in regards to Divine Feminine, but could, there is some sadness um, around and disappointment around a divorce that is occurring or about to occur, okay? Or maybe has already occurred. This person is coming in as single, um, but again, this could be not have happened yet. This could just be on its way. Yeah, this is going to happen very quickly. Eight of Wands is a very fast movement. Okay, this person may also um, be dealing with some financial loss, right? We saw that yesterday in Divine Masculine's energy. Um, I feel like this person is... Whoever this Divine Masculine is, this person is trying to rectify that situation. But they've come through, they've come to some kind of realization with the judgment here that like they're tired of having conflict in relationship. They're ready for peaceful, balanced, healthy connection with someone. And they know that's what Divine Femme. Okay. They are sad about, you know, this connection that they're leaving behind. They do feel like it's a soulmate. It is. It's a karmic soulmate, right? Um, and they're thinking a lot about this, and there's a lot of sadness. Um, could also be because it's around Christmas, because this is a two. In two, well, in one month it is Christmas, right? So, well, Christmas month for those who celebrate this. <sighs> but they're going to get through this. They're going to heal this. They are feeling emotional about this, though. Yeah. They're also emotional because they're having financial issues around this time as well. So this isn't going, this is making them feel bad. But they're ready to be with their twin and do the work. Definitely, they're definitely sticking to their decision about ending this karmic cycle, karmic relationship, um, and taking action towards their Ten of Cups. What does Divine uh, Feminine need to focus on at this time? I got up early because I am focusing on health and wellness. <laughs> and I am focusing on getting stuff done. No more moping around. I've been moping around, not going to lie. I've been doing some healing work and I've been moping around and I, I can't do that anymore. So... What Divine Feminine needs to be focused on is union. Your ancestors are here guiding you. Your ancestors are here. You could be getting... <clears throat> you guys need to pay attention to the signs that you're getting when you're out. Uh, because your ancestors are letting you know they're there. Okay. 
um, like I see the number 50, I see 1212. 50 was the year my dad was born and he was born on 1212. So I see that all the time. <laughs> I know that's my dad and my dad is also a Sagittarius. So um, pay attention to those types of stuff. You may want to find out when your parents um, were born or someone you passed uh, close to you is born because numbers is a reoccurring thing and they talk to you through numbers all the time. Okay. Your ancestors are telling you you're going to get your wish fulfillment. Someone who is an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius is going to be taking action towards you and you guys are going to be planning something new. Okay. There could have been a little deception around you guys reconnecting. Um, what is this deception? And this deterred your strength. So someone may have tried to make, made you, make you feel not strong. This could have been another masculine. I feel like this is a karmic masculine that made that tried to diminish your strength. I told you. Um, and prevent this love offer from coming in. I told you they were doing this so that you could avoid this offer. And they're toxic. That's definitely a karmic energy. So that's what you need to focus on, Divine Femme. Please don't allow this person to penetrate your energy. This person is toxic. You know it. They know it. Um, all right. Um, and I just want to shout this person out because I really like this person. Um, this person is, um, he's helped me a lot, uh, just by watching his TikTok videos. Um, he is a, a diagnosed, um, narcissistic personality disorder and he is on TikTok to create awareness, um, as to how people with narcissistic personality disorder, or he says toxic individuals, right? How they manipulate gaslight and everything. His videos, a lot of them have a funny undertone, which is, I mean, he's hilarious. Um, and, but he's been in therapy for five years. Um, one of the videos I watched yesterday, he said, he said, we, we don't change. He said, we can improve our coping mechanisms we can improve our coping mechanisms, but since it is a personality disorder, we don't change. And he's been in therapy for five years, right? And he's like, we can get better, we can improve. But he even admits, he's like, the brain wiring, the brain chemistry is still there for me to act the way that I've acted. And it takes very um, high levels of self-control for me to choose differently. And I have to remember what I'm supposed to be doing in this moment. And sometimes it's very hard for me to do that. Right. So basically what I'm, what I get from his videos is that this person has to be highly intelligent. Number one, because for a narcissistic personality disorder person to have self-awareness and want help and want therapy that speaks volumes for who he is. Okay. Um, and he, he just, he, I don't know. So if you've ever dated someone who was toxic or wondered who they were, I would advise you to go to his, um, to his, uh, page. His name is Lee Hammock. He has 1.6 million followers. I mean, he is hilarious. See, self-aware NPD. Okay. Um, and that's who he is. And he is an actor. <laughs> you may have seen him on TV. Um, but I mean, I watched, I watched so many of his videos. It's, I even shared one of them on my own TikTok because it was hilarious. Okay. He is like, I, <laughs> literally laughed at half of his videos, but he, he gives off very valuable information, um, and creates awareness 
uh, you know, in a very um, ethical way, right? There are people who have YouTube videos who are also narcissistic, but they the information they put out is very gross. Like, I don't like it. It's very narcissistic in and of itself. Um, and it it's almost like they're bragging about hurting people. He doesn't do that. Okay. He tells you what they do and he kind of makes a joke about it. Um, but he's very real and you can tell that he's coming from an authentic place. Hello, I read energy. If I like this person, if I'm telling you this person is giving good advice, right? Like, yeah. Okay. And he also does, um, and phone sessions uh, for people who need to need advice, like to break up with a narcissist or end a marriage with a narcissist. Um, and he also get does that for if you want to chat with him about if you you know what his opinion is about your partner. Um, and it's like sixty five dollars for thirty minutes, so it's not expensive, right? Um, but yeah, like. I really like him. So, anyways, I just wanted to put that out there. Spirit wanted me to tell you that. Um, yep, see, told you. Spirit wanted me to tell you that because there could be somebody here who is dealing with that type of person. And these videos could be beneficial. Okay. All right. So, what does Divine Masculine need to focus on at this time? Balance. For some of you, this could be a divorce, but others, it could be a balance, bringing balance. Remember why you awakened. Remember why you're here. Remember why you are who you are. Remember why you came here. Yeah, this is a this is a divorce. So they, you need to focus on separation at this time, going into a separation. Yep, you are an air sign masculine. You need to be open to receiving a third party who is clearly your twin. Ah. And they're saying that you need to be open to doing this so that you can be open to receiving a third party because I don't feel like I feel like um, you may be the type that like doesn't really put your all into like if you're juggling multiple people, you don't put your all into both. Right. You're either completely open with one and kind of reserved with the other. So in order for you to be open completely, you have to let this karmic relationship cycle complete. Yeah. I feel like you've been focusing on your healing. I feel like you have the courage to change now. You may have been resisting this for a long time, in essence, resisting your twin flame. You're no longer doing that anymore because you're married to that karmic. But you know, attraction feminine, you know who you want to be with. All right, so that is all that I have for you guys today.